Hey guys, Mr. Wahidul Hakia back with another video. Today I'm going to be changing the. Well, I'm not going to change it, I'm just going to add another M.2 drive NVMe one into the Acer Nitro 5. As you can see, this is my main drive, it's only 500 gigs. So I've only got 90 gig free. So that's not very good. It's very shit, if I'm being honest. So I've got a one terabyte Samsung one, so I will put it that in and then switch it over. I'm gonna clone this drive, put it onto that one because the Samsung one's a lot faster, and that's gonna be my main drive. And then I'll just put whatever on this one. Alright, guys, I'm just gonna show you how to take this apart, the laptop apart. I mean, so if you got the older version of the Acer Nitro Five, you'll have uh, two panels. One for your RAM, one for your hard drive, so you can upgrade them. So basically, you have to take apart them first, and then do this, what I'm doing now. But if you have the newer version, which is this one, all you have to do is take out all these screws. So there's quite a few. I'll just go through all of them quickly. Make sure you don't lose these screws. All you need for this is a normal crisscross, crisscross, uh, what do you call it? Screwdriver. So yeah, okay. And you are meant to have a warranty sticker right there. But this one doesn't have it for some reason. Which is very odd to say this is a new laptop. There's no point even contacting Acer. Because they couldn't even help me with my other issue. So I thought, oh fuck yeah. Okay. One off, two off. So you're going to go around the whole laptop, take out all the screws. And just quickly take these out. If you have any USBs in, make sure you take them out because that's what I had in. I had a USB Bluetooth thing there, I just took it out. Okay, there's one up here. Take that out as well. This is why you need a magnetic tip. Helps a lot. Just in that situation where it was just spinning on the spot. Keep spinning it, there you go. Magnet helps. Okay, on to the next one, then we've got one in the middle there. Yeah, majority of these are like that. You have to magnet tip them out like that. Yep. And once you take the cover off, make sure you discharge yourself first to get rid of any static shock. Okay, down to the bottom. I don't have my tripod with me. Again, it's at the garage. Sorry about that. Oh, shit. Good thing I didn't leave a mark. have to be very careful with that. That's why I'm recording with one hand, doing the work with the other hand. So bear with me, guys. Sorry about that. Might just order the tripod, one for home, one for my garage. I'm doing a lot of work in the garage. And you're gonna see a lot more videos, car videos, a lot more. I'm just very behind on my schedules, editing and shit. You're most likely gonna see the Astronex, I think. Then probably the Sea Leon. Mm, what would I probably do? Uh, maybe SV after that. Because that's the order of edited it in. This one just keeps spinning. Come on. There you go. Okay. All the screws should be out now. Show you all of them. Yep. Yep. Double check all of them. Yep. Before you talk, tug in on the case. Yep. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Yep. All out. Now, if you have a thing to deliver it with, it'd be a lot easier. But, uh, or a guitar pick or anything like that. But I don't. So I'm just going to... Use my fingernails to try to get it in. So, mm, it's gonna be hard to show you as well. I might have to get something to lever it with. I'm trying to think. This bit would be the best way to get in. Can you see that? Right in that tiny gap. It's creating an opening. Just want to start from one corner. 
work your hand away all the way around it till you make a big enough gap I might have to find something to level it with as you can see it's already started opening I might just pause the video it'll make it easier to do with two hands so all you're doing is putting your finger tip to or whatever you're using all the way around all the way around the edge this bit you'll struggle a bit on but you just press a bit harder go around there all the way around and then pull it up so I'll do that now as you do it you'll hear a couple of clicks of it coming out of place which is good so so far I'm about this much can't do much without a second hand so I'm going to pause the video and then carry on Okay, as you can see I've got the whole bottom side now open now, I'm on to the right side now, this is the ethernet port, just want to be careful with this bit, took on you a bit, I'll come off, you know. there's a connector right there, it's not a connector, it's just a tab basically, it'll click out of place when you get it out, it's these things here, can you see, um, let me zoom in for you, them things, that's what's making them clicking noises. So yeah, I'm just going to take that corner out because I'm definitely going to need two hands for that. So that's the most hardest bit on the thing. After that, you're okay. Okay guys, that was very hard work without a tool. So I recommend you get a tool. Especially these corner bits, they're very hard to get out. But I managed to get it out. So what I did was work around from there, all the way around there, up to there. Then I went up all this side, then I went around the back, went around that way. And there should be no wires on it here. Yeah. To say this is a new laptop, look how much dust I've collected. Fucking hell, guys. Look at the fun. It's a brand new laptop as well. Okay. What the hell? Someone's been scratching that. Bastards. Okay. So this is not connected by any wire, so you can get rid of that for now. I shall move that somewhere. Somewhere clean when I find the place. And then, yeah everything here as you can see i'm gonna quickly give that a bit of a dust out there's a bit of stickiness there something fucking hell that's a bit dusty as fuck i've had this laptop for two months look how dusty it is especially there look at that massive dust bunny really bad right, i'm gonna quickly give you a quick clean and then i will carry on the video hi right, guys now that it's clean well, mostly clean. I got all the dust bluffs out. To, to do that, I had to use a cotton bud. Good thing I had everything handy. Right. So, I was mistaken about the M.2 not having a screw. I guess they already put one in for you, I guess. So, there's my old M.2, as you can see. This is my new one for the second hard drive slot. So, all you want to do is take this one off. First you want to discharge yourself, I've already done that, I've touched some metal and stuff everywhere. So that's the first thing you want to do, make sure you're not ground, you're not carrying any static shock. Ah, that's a smaller one. So that's a smaller type screw, so I do have it on here, I'm just going to switch it around quickly. I guess, I think I got the right one now. It's just a tiny, thin one. That focuses now. It's as thin as possible, the line one. Nope, is it? Nope, okay. Let's hope the other one works. This is a bit bigger. Okay, hopefully. Nope, nothing at all. Has to be that small one then. How else is it gonna be? And uh, you'll see that soon. Upgrade that soon. Hmm. Uh, let me try to figure out which one, which size it is, so I can take it out somehow. Oh wait, what am I using this for? The smaller, smaller this one. Let me try this one, crisscross one. Nope, nothing. Any small ones? Uh, I think that's pretty big. That's quite big, yeah. It's not that one. Alright, let me figure something out. You need a very small screw, as you can see. So, let me figure out how to take that out. Find the right one, and then we'll go ahead with it. 
turns out the biggest one works how the hell does that happen so you need the big one which is very weird so you need the big crisscross one and then you can see it's already coming loose it's already raised up which is really good make sure you don't lose the screws by the way because uh, if your system doesn't come with m.2 m.2 screw you can just order one off amazon but it's good to keep them now this is a heat shield so all you want to do is lift that up and take it out that's it put that to the side as you can see it's got a pad there to uh, capture the heat onto there and spread it around the whole heat shield i don't get how that's dusty as well on the inside it's quite a lot of dust everywhere which is very weird so as you can see pcie nvme slot okay so what we want to do is get the new ssd out nvme Okay, now make sure you 100% sure that you discharge yourself because these are very delicate. Okay. Oh, that's really nice. Look how sexy that is. Damn. That might be my thumbnail. That looks pretty sick. When, when he is for, in focus. There you go. Okay, so this literally goes in one way because of that notch, as you can see. So it can literally only go in one way. So just put it in like that gonna try so screw sides there all you want to do is pop this in it's like popping you know can't say the word don't want to put too much pressure on i have to do this 200 not 100 percent sure if that's in should be it looks like it is yeah pretty sure that's in Okay, so all you want to do is put this shield on top, then you want to screw it down as well. Okay, that's fully in, and make sure that's fully in as well. But don't uh, over push it, just make sure, and then line this up with that. And then I can't do this one handed, so all you're doing now is pushing it down while putting the screw on at the same time. So I'm just going to do that and then show you it. Okay guys, that's on now, as you can see. It's a bit more bendy, bendier than that one, the I mean. But yeah, that's on there. So, that pad there, that we showed on the other side, that was actually a sticky pad. So what that does is sticks it right to the memory chips, pulls, sucks in the heat, and spreads it along there. And because the fans are there, it pulls out the heat, that way I'm guessing. And it's got a lot of air sockets anyway. Okay guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to test how if this is working now, all you have to do is turn the computer on, go on my computer. Uh, device manager, you might have to install the software, not software, driver. We should automatically have a Windows one. So that should be alright. And then, yeah, should come up in your disk PCB. If not, all you have to do is go to uh, disk management uh, and then mount it into like a NTFS or whatever it is and choose their drive allocate it some uh, allocate it and stuff like that that's about it anyway guys thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel see you guys next time goodbye